Uh, boys, I tweeted about this the other day. The NHL in this fucking blackouts, man. They got to do go. something here. They got they got to fix it. And by I'm fix so it, confused. They got to end them. It is confusing because every fucking like cable company has their their whatever of uh, rules, laws, whatever. I don't understand the blackout rules, frankly, because if you and I'm I implore people at the NHL to find my tweet on the Chicklets handle and read all the replies, all the quote tweets from all these fucking people who can't see games and it makes no sense. They're not in any zones where they should be blacked out from any spots. I understand certain situations you have, but I mean even the NHL network, like for example, tonight with if you cut the cord and you wanted to watch the NHL network, you'd have to get a a stolen stream online because the NHL network doesn't have a fucking app. So you can't watch that anywhere. So why wouldn't, so because that, but what I'm confused about is when, if with ESPN plus now, and I can get most of the games on ESPN plus. Okay. So say Mm -hmm. I watched, um, say, say I watched uh, Columbus Detroit on ESPN plus. That's that's the two networks in Detroit and Columbus that show the games, whether it's Fox Sports, I don't know, whatever it is. So why can't NHL network games just be on ESPN plus as well? Like, I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand get any of it. And that's what's in all the data. All they're doing is sending people to these illegal streams, which there's millions of them out there and they and they work. They're good. I'm obviously not going to say them on here. But <laughs> what the what this league is doing is sending thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people to these illegal streams to watch their product. Instead of just fucking, I think the NHL could just eradicate blackout rules. If it's their league, they could just say, fuck it. No, you're going to put it on. But it's crazy, man. It's like people all over North America. I wonder if that's the answer. Is they just, they say they that to be the, they have to do it. They're just, well, they just are like, hey, I'm, like we understand that the 100,000 or 200,000 people that can't watch it are going to stream it illegally. But go go do that. It's not worth on like, you know figuring all these solutions based on these networks because there's all this fine print and there's a reason probably why they can't do it i think what would be important if we if we could get the reason why they can't like the in-depth reason why they can't so it would kind of just put a rest to all this because you have have to do this a couple times a year and what and and you know we talk about it like we respect the fact that you do it because you want the 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 fans voices to be heard especially the ones in these areas because like just one guy tweeting who's got five followers ain't gonna get to them right so maybe there's an explanation why they can't do it, but we need to know, or we're gonna, we're gonna keep bitching about this every six months and sending it on our social media. I think it's just a relic from the past. I mean, I think when I think of blackouts here in Boston, I think of like not being able to watch the Patriots games because they stunk so bad and they didn't sell out, so you wouldn't be able to watch them at home. Like I think of like that from like the 1980s, but the landscapes changed, the media world yes. changed, everything's so different. Just the idea that you know people live in a certain area and they're not even close to these teams and and they can't get them. If I can't make fucking what is it make any sense of it? I, it's I don't know dinosaur it thinking, but it's just like you don't you don't know what's going on with the TV world side of it. Is it is it make hair a hide of it? Is that the phrase, Biz? No clue. Oh, wait, you're I can't make hair a hide of it. Okay. Wrong people right now. All right. Well, we can leave that. Grinelli bought listeners. a concert ticket from a fucking <laughs> pizza box. Wow, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> I got beef for thirty two bucks. That's what I'd say. Um, I put my fucking makeup on with a paintball gun. All right, you're asking me. Come on, meow. 